Hey guys, I'm Casey Simone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a review of how my budget went for the month of August and also preparing for the month of September. And I use what's called the cash envelope system and I'm following the Dave Ramsey plan. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. Okay, so for the month of August, I gave myself $450 cash to spend for the month and the rest went to um, like rent, basic bills and utilities and debt. So let's see, what is in my wallet? Um, <laughs> I, I did spend the majority of all my money this month. Groceries, I don't have anything, household nothing, shopping nothing, entertainment, I have $4 left and restaurants, I have nothing. So I spent pretty much all of my money this month, um, which I knew that I would because I also saw uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z. I was on the run in Atlanta this uh, past August. I was actually at the show where someone jumped on stage. I personally did not see that person jump on stage because the people beside me wanted to leave all early. So I had to like move to, uh, let them out of the way and I missed it. But anyway, anyway, I was on the run. I was there. So I budgeted for that though, right? So I bought my tickets back in March or February, whenever they went on sale, I bought my ticket and I was up there. I was, I was up level three in uh, the Mercedes Benz um, arena, stadium, whatever. So um, my tickets were like $100. So that wasn't that bad and to save money I didn't uh, get a plane to Atlanta because I'm in North Carolina I actually took a train and I think that cost a little over a hundred dollars it was somewhere very similar to the cost of the ticket so but anyway I spent that money back in the spring so for the actual trip I was able to cash flow just about everything um, all my food I was able to buy cash um, I ended up not doing too much entertainment, so I was able to take some of the, some of the entertainment money and use it for food. <laughs> um, let's see. The only, I didn't, um, think about transportation. I ended up having to get three lifts, uh, while I was there. Um, one of them cost like $40 because I was staying with my sister, but she doesn't live in Atlanta. She lives outside of Atlanta and it took... 40 minutes to get from downtown Atlanta where the uh, Am Amtrak station is to her house. So it took, no, it took like an hour and it cost $40 for that. And kind of had to do the same thing back. So I spent like $80 on Lyft that I wasn't planning for. But um, outside of that, I pretty much stuck to cash. Um, they had a policy about the arena that you couldn't bring bags into the arena arena so I ended up getting like a little small clutch wallet thing that could fit my phone and ID and some cash inside and I bought that for like eight dollars maybe somewhere else um, but I'd already used my shopping budget so I I did use my card for that I know bad on me right I could have just used my entertainment money on it but I don't think I did I think I used my card so Shame on me. But overall, I think I did really good for the trip. Um, let's see. Yeah, so when I got back, I still had cash left over. And I got back like the 20, 28th? No, 26th, 27th. I got back to, I'm looking at my calendar that's on the wall. I got back to North Carolina on the 27th. And I also had to pay my car registration fees this month, and that was $213, but I was able to cash flow that. So I had already had like $170 saved from July and June, and I had that saved in a savings account at my bank. And I took, I think I had like $40 left in cash from the month of August. So I used that 40 and I put it with the 170 I forget exactly the amount, but I had enough to pay for the car registration in cash. So yay me, out of this month's budget, I only had to pay 40 out of something that costs 
$213. So yay me. I feel like I did pretty well for the month of August. Um, let's see what else. Also, my car, as for my car payment this month, you know, that is what I'm trying to tackle um, right now in my debt snowball. So I already pay $430 um, required every month. Like that's my car payment. But outside of that, I've been putting additional money to just knock out my car loan. Um, I haven't actually done it yet, so I can't tell you exactly how much it's going to be, but I think that I'm gonna be able to put close to $1,400 this month, which is even more than last month, because last month I did a little more than $1,200, but this month I think I can do $1,400 extra to my car. And the way that's gonna happen right now, I have about $380 left in my checking account. And I have a separate checking account that has all of my freelance money. I do photography, web development on the side, and I, I have around $1,000 in that, and I just haven't touched that money in months. Um, but I think I'm just gonna wipe it out and use all my freelance money and put it to my car payment for uh, August. I think I'm gonna do that. So if I use that thousand there and the almost 400 that's in my checking account now combined, that's like $1,400. It'll be, it'll be really close to 1,400. It may be more like 1,380-ish dollars, but you know, let's just round up. $1,400 extra to my car payment this month for a grand total of 1,400 plus 430 Lord Jesus <sighs> $1,800 all to a car for this month but I think yeah I think I'm able to do that now that probably is not going to happen every month because that took like a few months of collecting in my freelance checking account that was a few months worth of work right there because I don't do a lot of freelance I don't I don't do it frequent enough but um I'm working on a way to like get my freelance up so I can do more payments like that. So, but um, yay me. Um, let's see. So let's jump to the August, sorry, the September part of this video. My money for September is all in this envelope. Again, it's gonna be $450. I know it looks like a lot of money. It's majority fives <laughs> and uh, a few twenties, but it's a lot of five dollar bills. Um, I don't usually do just fives and twenties. I usually have a mixture of fives, tens and twenties, but I switched banks this month and I went in to go and get the cash and they, they have a personal teller machine, a PTM instead of an ATM. And it's really cool. It's like you can FaceTime someone through the machine. But anyway, they, like I can't go up to a counter and tell someone I want 25s and 10 10s. Like I can't do it that way. I have to go through the machine and the machine only gives out fives and 20s. So like she gave me like more than 65s and it was just like this huge wad of money. And I was like, let me hurry to my car before anyone sees me. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's all in here. And for this month, I'm going to put um, $140 to groceries, $60 for household things, $90 for shopping, $60 for entertainment, and $100 for restaurants. Um, this is not a big month for me. I'm not um, going on any trips this month. I don't have anything special planned. So um, that's why everything is pretty much normal. Last month I had to budget for the Beyonce concert. Um, so this month is pretty, pretty much a normal month. I'm going to Charlotte tomorrow to shoot a wedding, but I'm gonna get paid for that, so yay me. Um, it's not going to be a lot of money, though. 
I'm a second shooter at the wedding, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a lot of money. I'm just trying to get my portfolio up so then maybe I can shoot weddings by myself and make the real money. Anyway, but um yeah, so that's my plan for August. It should be a pretty smooth month, as I said, because nothing big is happening. Um yeah, ninety dollars for shopping. I think I uh brought that up a little bit from a normal month because I think I want to get new shoes this month so that's why I budgeted a little bit more money still nothing fancy not fancy shoes not expensive shoes but I've been wanting some more like tennis shoes because the ones I have are like hot pink and you just that just doesn't match with everything so I've been wanting some black tennis shoes but um anyway yeah that's all I have planned for this month um, so thanks for watching this video. If you want to stay tuned, I'm going to count out the money and actually put it into my cash envelopes that are inside my wallet. So if that interests you, stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so I'm about to stuff my cash um, envelopes with the money for September. So let's get started. First is restaurants and I need a hundred dollars and it's in fives so that means I need 20 fives so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20. So this is a hundred dollars in fives and I'm going to put it in my restaurant budget. Okay. Next up is entertainment. I need $60 so that uh, that's 12 fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12, five, $60 into entertainment. Next up is shopping. So I need $90. That's 18 fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. $18 or no, 18 fives, $90 for shopping. Next up is household, $60. So 12 fives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve dollar, twelve fives for household, $60. Last up, groceries. $140, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. So that's it. That's my budget for the month of September. Wish me luck, guys, that I don't spend all my money. Uh, hope you like the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.